Cebus Hotkey Functionality. This is the Cebus Hotkey Functionality Sequence section. If you turn the left hotkey dial, a hotkey menu will pop up in your Cebus screen. This hotkey menu has three levels. In the first level, you can adjust the flow quantity for each hydraulic line. In order to adjust a value, simply turn the hotkey dial and select a desired color. If you turn the hotkey dial to the 6 o'clock position, you can change from level 1 to level 2. Level 2 will allow you to either add or change the timer detent for each of the hydraulic remotes. Notice that as these numbers are changed, a small timer with a number will pop up below each of the hydraulic icons in Cebus. This number corresponds to the number of seconds that the timer is set for. If a timer is set at zero, that particular valve will only remain open for as long as you hold the remote open. If the line is connected to a paddle controller on the armrest, you can place the paddle controller into a physical detent that will keep the valve open. The third level in the Cebus hotkey menu is customizable to your own preferences. For example, in level 3, you can install a shortcut to switch between automatic and drive stick mode. You can activate your claw sequence management, or you can adjust your joystick controls. To exit out of your hotkey menu, turn the rotary knob back up to the 12 o'clock position. To change the information in the active section of the display, you would simply turn the right hotkey dial. In this example, you will see that you have your draft control position shown in the display. By turning the right rotary dial, you can change its display. You can go into your maximum speed or your current set cruise control speed and dial it in this way. You can also do the same with the maximum speed for range 1, or you can do it for your special steering modes. Here you would change and select your special steering mode by using the left rotary dial, and then you would toggle back and forth between the special steer or the standard steer by the right rotary dial. You can change your percentage of engine drop. Your driving strategy or aggressiveness of transmission ratio change or which engine speed control memory level you want. To do this, simply scroll back and forth with the right rotary dial. You can also do the same for the percentage setting of the front three-point hitch.